There's one thing that I know Is that he knows Hello everybody, my name is Alex Johnson and I'm the worship pastor here at Shreveport Community Church and we just released our brand new worship album, Arise and Shine. And this album is available on all platforms. Uh, there are available to download music. So wherever you listen to music at, you can find our album. All you have to do is type in SC Worship, Arise and Shine, and you'll see it. But I want to talk about one particular song on this album that's very dear and special to my heart. The song I'm referring to is a song called He Knows. And He Knows came about in one of our writing sessions with Joel Barnes of Maverick City and Harold Brown, amazing people, amazing writers. So we start off this session by going around asking, hey, what is God playing, uh, laying on your heart? Is there anything God is saying to you? It's so me, you know, I'm, you know, very talkative, but I really don't share like sentiments of my heart. But this was just burning on me so heavily. And I said, well, I actually have something that I feel like I want to share. And it's like, go ahead. So I, I said, well, I'm just, you know, coming out of a rough season in my life, dealing with, you know, life changes. And the one thing that held me in those times was the fact that I could think in my mind and I knew for a fact that God knows. How powerful. That's like one of the most prolific things that you can ever say is that God knows. Even if you don't know, you have to be confident that God knows. So we finished writing this whole album and um, <laughs> out of this session for this song, we only really had a verse and some O's. Like, that's not a song. It's just like some <laughs> a couple of sentences and some ooh-ahs, you know, it was great, incredible. But in our meeting, our pastors were felt so strong about this song and they were like, we got to put this song on the album. So we're like, OK, we're optimistic. So we get to the studio and we record uh, three days and we get down to our final day, which is the day to record. He knows. And at this point, we have no verses besides one and just some O's, no bridge, no vamp. Um, so the night before, I sit in my hotel room and I'm um, sitting there with my brother Lance and uh, it hits me. You know how you have a, a something that's lingering and it just hits you and it all comes together? I had one of those moments with this song and I began to grab my phone and type um, open scars and shattered dreams in need of healing, distant miles seem hard to reach, but keep on going. And the Lord just literally gave the rest of that song and it was so strong in my room i had to go wake up hb i was like bro where are you i need to come see you because i got the rest of the song so we go up to his room and i begin to just sing it to him and we are literally in this hotel room three grown men in one room just bawling oh my goodness <laughs> it was incredible and so uh the next morning we get up to prepare to finish our uh, recording there in Dallas and um, I for the first time allowed myself to go to a space uh, to revisit something that had just happened so my brother had just died and I didn't remember that I packed his pullover I packed his hoodie in my bag so as I'm putting his hoodie on my body I start to feel all of these emotions I start to feel all of these things and the literally the weight and the presence of God just filled me as I put that hoodie on. And I knew that my brother was proud. I knew he was happy because I was there, I was writing, and this is something that he always wanted me to do. And I just felt like so confident knowing that I had a piece of him there. And so we go to the studio to record the song and I literally feel the presence of God just take over and it's just, it just exuded right through that microphone, right through those speakers, right to my heart. And it's so amazing, you know, that while I'm singing this song, I'm just replaying scenarios. I'm replaying things in my mind. And I'm re re reminding myself that, wow, God was there the whole time. 
He knew exactly what was going on in my life. He knew exactly how I was going to get to the end because he writes the end before he writes the beginning. Wow, isn't that incredible? So let me tell you, this song is the song for you. If you feel like you're struggling, if you feel like you're in a place where you can't hear God to where you don't understand, I'm telling you, you need to listen to this song because it's going to speak directly to your heart. And let me tell you, if God knows the amount of hairs that's on your head, don't you think that he knows exactly what you're going through? Don't you think he knows he has an exit plan? Don't you think he knows he has an expiration date to your problem? So let me tell you, this song is amazing. So go to YouTube right now. Go, like, when you get done watching this, go to YouTube and type in SC Worship. He knows and allow this song to just speak to you. Allow it to, to refresh you. Allow it to be your remedy. So I'll see you there. That he won't let him.